This is an episode of Swingers After Dark, and this is your host, not some, baby. I'm chilling out with the king of Philly. You know, he's running things in the Philadelphia, PA area as far as the swing lifestyle, you know. And the man I'm talking about is Chris Cartier. And Chris, tell them the group, tell the public the group <laughs> that you run out here on the East Coast. Well, out here on the East Coast, you know, LOP and MOC. Swing Stars, if y'all know who that is, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure plenty, plenty of y'all know we up and down the whole entire East Coast, man. So, you know, um, for those who don't know, though, that's uh, Levels of Pleasure and Men of Climax. That's one group, so don't get that twisted up into two different groups, you know what I'm saying? It's Levels of Pleasure, and then I got something that represents the fellas, Men of Climax, because it's all about the ladies at the end of the day. So, you know. That's about it. So, so tell them about the the award that you won. What what was that? 2015. Nah, you know what? That was actually 2016 at the time. Um, we had won that, and uh, I mean, it was a pretty good thing. I mean, at, at yeah, they won. They won for the best, <clears throat> for the hottest group. Right, 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 right. So, it, I mean, I, I, running for it. I've been, I've been since then. That you know, I put in a. I was put in the top five probably about, let me see, top five nominees, I guess, for probably like every 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 one after 2015. Like 2015 was the first one. And then all the way up until now, we still always in the top rankings because we, you know, we do what we do. So tell them, tell everybody out there in TV land why LOP, MOC, the hottest group, and how <laughs> did you build up your clientele? Well, I would say unlike... You know, a lot of other group owners, I actually took it and made it a business, like, and actually got everything copywritten, the name, the whole brand, everything is trademarked, you know what I'm saying? So um, I went ahead and did the LLC, you know, on the, uh, on the event business, you know, event promotions business. So, I mean, we won't just be promoting, you know, and, and advertising uh, just, you know, lifestyle events, but we're doing vanilla events too, um, you know, so, but... What got us out there was the fact that we was consistent. We always consistent with our with our with our events, you know. And our, and our main goal is at each and every one is you know, we never let not a soul walk out this door saying they had anything less than a bomb ass time. You know what I'm saying? And if they say anything less than that, then I feel like in my book I failed. You know what I'm saying? Even if one person saying, I know they say you can't please everybody, but yeah, like. I try. <clears throat> so, 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 LOP and MOC is more of a, a, a party group, like a lifestyle group, like a turn up group, than your traditional couple swinging group. No, nah, I mean it's it's technically, I mean it's for everybody. Now we actually we 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 pride, um, we get I mean not pride, but we give more big ups to the couples that's in the group than anything. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'd rather see. You know, to an extent, I'd rather see the majority of these parties be couples opposed to singles. You know what I'm saying? But now, the the, the, the way it is now, especially coming in 2019, you know, it's a it's it's depending on who you are throwing it. It might be, uh, you know, you you might get a difference in age age brackets, and you might get a difference in veterans and rookies or. You know, a bunch of fakes and phonies or whatever. So it depends on who you are and who you bring out. You feel what I'm saying? But you know, it's it's just crazy, man. So, so you saying that like groups, like groups, Facebook groups are becoming more of like turn up groups. Yeah, yeah. To an extent, I'm gonna say. You know what I'm saying? But my thing is, if you're gonna do it, do it right. That's all. Just do it right. Like you know, my OG Eddie Kane. Always telling me shit. He just told me that shit last night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do it, do it right. So you know, we pushing to another level on this uh, on this new year. So you know, we are gonna see what happens and uh, see how the people like it and love it. Which more than likely, I know they will. Um, you know. Yeah. So what separates LOP MOC from the rest of the groups out east? Cause we bring out everybody from all up and down the fucking east coast, man. Like like. It's just that's that's just facts. We ain't just bringing out local people. Like my whole expansion rate is like it's it's crazy. We got a whole LOP Chicago group. We got a LOP Midwest group, um, a LOP Florida group, a LOP Vegas group. 
So we we popping in a lot of places, and we getting popping in Atlanta. We we popping shit all up and down the goddamn South too. So we in Texas. We got people that come up and fly out to Texas every goddamn event we do. We got a whole flock of out of towners that come through, and that's what I think makes it even better for our for, for for my local guests because they get to come out even though you know some will say yeah well it's a lot of the same people nah you ain't gonna get a lot of you gonna see a lot of the same people at my shit but i'm gonna guarantee you it's going the majority of the of the of the population of the event itself is going to be at least 60 percent out of town and that's how my local folks like that you know what i'm saying they like it like that you know what i'm saying they spread the word and then they show the out of town is a great time they go back, tell their people, and now, you know, we ringing bells always somewhere in fucking Arkansas or some shit, you feel me? But the goal, the goal is to build up to really expand to where as though we can actually spread this as a, as a nationwide brand, even probably across the world, making an international lifestyle brand, you feel what I'm saying? So, so what are some tips that you could give up-and-coming promoters when it comes to, you know, promoting events? I would just say, you know, if you don't already have a following, first and foremost, you got to build your following. Go to these events, go out, introduce yourself, be social, network, you know, talk to people, you know, get to know people, have a good time, show them you're a cool person. Because a lot of, when it comes to lifestyle events, a lot of times the events, the people that come out, it's, it's, you know, that's going to be based on who the person is that's throwing it. You know what I'm saying? Do they fuck with them like that? What type of character you got you know what i'm saying can you throw a great motherfucking party you know what i'm saying so a lot of that a lot of that play a big role um i would say just stick to consist- consistency so what is what is like the wildest shit you ever seen at the lop moc event the wildest shit i ever seen at a lop moc event i think the wildest shit was when damn i think the was that the wildest shit well, I, don't, I would say the wildest shit probably would be, um, damn, damn, because it's a couple little, oh, I'm a, okay, okay, um, when my daughter's mother uh, was at the, at the party, mind you, she pregnant, popped out, popped belly and all, and, um, not there fucking or nothing like that, so don't get that, you know what I'm saying, turned twisted. But anyway, yeah, she, you know, she was there to support, help, you know, help conduct the shit, situation that was going, what we had going on. But anyway, she, when she got some time to chill and sit on her ass and stop wobbling around, my homegirl, Keisha, she come out of nowhere, come in the room, and one thing leads to another, she eating a pussy. She eating, she eating a pussy, so... That's no pussy like pregnant pussy. Ow. Yeah, yeah. Yo, and uh, it was just so funny because she was making her come. She was about to come and come real hard. And um, she wrapped her legs around her fucking head and as she was coming. She literally twisted, twisted Keisha's neck <laughs> damn near off her fucking shoulders, turning off the fucking bed to the side. Now, that was some funny ass shit. Y'all just had to be there to see it. I know it shit probably sound corny, but yo, if you'd have seen how that shit went, she clenched up like she was motherfucking... Uh, Rick Flair was motherfucking doing a what's that? What's the the finger? The finger? The, the finger four? Finger four? Yeah. Yo, real shit. It was too funny because Keisha wasn't expecting it, and I told her, I said, "Yo, she's squirting. When she squirts, she be coming hard." So she ain't want to believe me, but that shit was funny as hell. So tell the public like your your events, like your main events. You got the Zodiac John. You got the yeah. the the Halloween. The Halloween. So tell them like your main Thanks, events. Of America. So we got. Coming up, March 15th to the 17th, we got uh, United Sex of America, World War II. So y'all know this is the second. So, so that's every March? Yeah, that's every March. We more than likely will be doing that because we did it last year at the same time. Um, I would say the one after that is the Zodiac Affair. And then we may just put something together for the summertime. Who knows? I don't know. But um, I know come Halloween, which is the legendary Halloween event of all time, Motherfuckers gonna be there. They know how it go. I mean, we sell out the entire hotel like it ain't nothing. And uh, yeah, we definitely, we definitely gonna have a great ass time this year. And uh, you know, whatever comes after that, we got some other big shit next year that's coming that's gonna blow y'all minds. And that's called Hito in the States. So yeah, that's right. If you ever been to Hito, 
in Jamaica. Y'all already know. For those of us that wouldn't mind somewhat of a recreation of that, we doing that. Uh, and that's going to be next summer. And we're putting that together, and it's a big, 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 big thing. I'm talking about a big-ass 70-acre piece of land with five, I think about six huge houses on there. You got rain to every last one of them. Every last one, when you pay that bread, you got everything on that on that property, on that piece of land. That's all you. You use it how, how, however you want to use it, but it's huge. And uh, we're going to definitely make recreate the whole Hedo scene from Jamaica right here in the States. So uh, y'all get to, get stay tuned for that because that's going to be a crazy situation. All right. So, you know, we out here at the gala. You know, that's like the Super Bowl of lifestyle parties east of the Mississippi. And, you know, y'all going to take home the, the trophy for the second time? L-O-P-M-O-C For hottest group um, Yo you know what I, I want I want to win it Yeah I, I do But I ain't gonna hold you I think we already Signified Like another award Wouldn't even You know The fact that we was Nominated And we nominated Every time <clears throat> Every time Is one of the top five I mean That tell you something Right there You know what I'm saying And it's not It's not like we going up Against people that's just local Like these places, these groups is from Jersey, New York, Philly, all these different places, you feel what I'm saying? Baltimore, D.C., Delaware, you know what I mean? So it ain't like we going up against just a few motherfuckers that want to run. You got to get nominated. So when if you hot like that, you're going to get nominated. And if, you know, you can get them votes and go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, then you you win, you know, the end goal. But um, I think we, we when we did it in 2016, Afterwards, it really didn't matter. It really, it really didn't matter no more what, whether we won another one or not. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers can brag they got two by default. Um, no pun intended, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, you know. All right. This has been another episode of Swingers After Dark, and this is your host, not son, baby. Shout out to Chris Cartier. Hit him up, you know, Facebook, and check out his group, L-O-P, M-O-C, Swing Stars. Any, like, last words, like? Um, shit, man, just just come check us out. Y'all already know what time it is, man. I just fucking, for the first time, I think I got an SLS account. And, uh, yeah, I'm getting ready to take this. I'm, I'm, I'm promoting everywhere to fuck. Every platform I can find out there that's going to let me promote these events. Because what I want to do is just bring it together on some... Real fly, sexy, classy, seductive shit, man. Nothing ratchet. We don't play like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I want to do it in a big way and uh, take 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 this whole thing to the next level because I, I I got a knack for bringing people together and I like bringing different people together. Like that's my shit. I like to bring a motherfucker from Jersey to meet motherfuckers from Texas and motherfuckers from New York to meet motherfuckers from fucking Nevada I don't fucking know but that's I, I like making those types of connections I, that's my way of that does something for me you know what I'm saying even when I'm at events if I ain't if I'm not getting some pussy I'm not really too 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 concerned because at the end of the day my biggest fun out the situation is not just making money but also watching my people have a great ass time you know what I mean? So that's what we pride ourselves on. So you gotta come fuck with us, man. See how we see how we do things. All right. On that note, we out. And one more thing. There's no pussy like pregnant pussy. You know. <laughs> <laughs>